Hey everyone, what is going on? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. In this week's video, we're gonna be talking about 10 items that has essentially shaped the RC industry and helped us achieve new performance levels within radio control vehicles. Now this is going to be my list of 10 items that I think are the, the biggest within the last decade or so. Let me know in the comment section below what you think are the best advancements that we have seen. And in addition to that, you can answer either one or both of these questions. What do you think is going to happen in the future? What is gonna be the next big move to advance radio controlled technology here as we know it? Let's start off with number one. This is in no particular order. And the number one spot is brushless motors. Now brushless motors obviously is not a new thing to the radio control hobby. They've been around a lot longer than just the last decade. However, what we are seeing with brushless motors is a new performance level of power power that you can actually extract from these motors. And not only are we being able to see the amount of power potential, but we're also seeing something different, which is a new RPM potential level, especially for those radio controlled car brushless motors that have the upgraded rotors that have stainless steel sleeves to make sure that that rotor doesn't blow apart. This is brand new to the industry within the last decade and has definitely advanced the radio controlled car section of the hobby. In the number two spot, we have electronic speed controls, and this kind of goes throughout all of the different radio controlled applications. We are now seeing brushless speed controls that are more powerful than they've ever been before. They're more resilient to things like ripple voltage, top brand, high performance radio controlled electronic speed controls. This is definitely allowing us to achieve much higher power levels and really taking advantage of those new brushless motors that you can find on the market. Now the number three spot, we have a battery technology that is not new at all. However, it's making some big breakthroughs for the amount of power you can actually extract from these, which is essentially your discharge rate or your C rating. Soon you'll see more and more radio controlled hobbyists or enthusiasts using these types of batteries. And that is lithium ion battery packs. We are now seeing the potential use of these packs, not only in your long range radio controlled airplanes or your typical long range FPV drones, but you are now seeing these types of batteries used in more of a high demand type application. There's a couple Couple YouTubers who are using these types of batteries in high performance electric ducted fan jets and it looks like it's going quite well and it's definitely opening us up to look into the future and see what we have in terms of the potential. Lithium ion batteries have a lot of different advantages and the one big disadvantage is the amount of power you can extract, which is the amount of current that you have at your fingertips and this is now looking better and better with every passing year. In the number four spot, we have lighter weight materials being used in the radio control hobby. Aluminum's been around for a very long time and we're now seeing a lot more of its use in third party companies that sell you aftermarket parts for your radio control vehicles. In addition to that, we also are seeing a lot more use with carbon fiber and similar materials, allowing some incredible strength and weight savings within your radio control vehicle. This is definitely upping the amount of performance that we can see in many different applications. Carbon fiber is definitely something that the airplane guys and the drone guys are going to like to see. Now moving on to the number five spot, this is one of my personal favorites and it is 3D printing. 3D printing is something that has been you know, coming up and getting bigger within the last decade. And I've been seeing a lot of guys who are using 3D printing to their advantage. Not only can you get custom parts created and prototype for your radio control vehicle, but you can also create design your own part to serve as a replacement for something that you can't actually get a hold of. This is, comes in handy if you have a part that is no longer made before, such as the nitro vehicle that we had where we bought that thing for like $20 and it's really difficult to get parts because they simply don't make them and there's not a lot of stock and inventory around the world. Another example is if you have a radio control vehicle that is current but it is sold in extremely low volumes and then we had COVID play into it and you simply just can't get a hold of that part, 3D printing can solve that problem as well. Now next we're going to take a look at some types of gyro stabilization. I know this is 
very commonly used in radio control airplanes as well as even radio control cars. Getting a little bit of stabilization in a drift is something that has definitely caught on. Stabilization is a great way to make a smaller radio control vehicle appear in touch and feel when you're controlling the car or airplane a lot bigger in size. And we know that radio control vehicles that are larger in size tend to handle better. And that's what I believe stabilization allows us to access. A small radio control vehicle that tends to be very sensitive in control can then be simmered down so it's not so sensitive and appears and feels like a larger radio control vehicle. This is definitely something that I appreciate when operating my radio controlled airplanes. Now taking a look at the number seven spot here, we have telemetry systems. A lot of ready to run vehicles, especially cars I'm seeing come with a telemetry system already installed. And you can access a lot of this either by using an app or some other component that they do sell. Having a telemetry system that is capable of tracking the vitals of a radio control vehicle is quite important and definitely makes it easy for us to understand and know what's happening with that radio control vehicle. This allows us to optimize the power system without damaging components because we don't know what's actually happening within our vehicle. This ties into the next item which is using smart sensors. Smart sensors are pretty much available for anything that you can imagine within the means of a radio control vehicle. Even your electronic speed controls are made in a smart type of way which allows the ESC to send data and information through the exact same receiver wire that we've been using for decades. Allowing this type of optimization keeps our systems very simple. This is just another means of getting the information that we require right to our fingertips as we drive that radio control vehicle around. Now the next item on the list here is waterproofing. This is something that has come a long way and a lot of radio control vehicles, especially radio control cars and boats, have definitely improved in the waterproofing of those systems. I remember back in the day with the radio control boats how everything was essentially open and one drop of water that got into your hull because maybe it cracked because of hitting a wave or something and electronics you'd have to take them all apart dry them all out because they simply would not work. This is not the case anymore. Waterproof servos have come a long way. Waterproof electronic speed controls and even receiver boxes are set up so that we don't need to worry about water the same way that we did many years ago. Definitely an improvement to the performance aspect of a radio control vehicle. Moving on to the number nine, as well as even the number 10 spot here, these are not necessarily internal to the radio controlled vehicle. It is more along the lines of number nine being a sport camera, allowing us to essentially capture the action in high quality and high definition in a fairly easy way. The GoPro camera, as well as their many competitors have come a long way to allow us to capture these moments and to help film everything that we're watching on YouTube these days. And in the number 10 spot, I used to have to place a GPS, a full size GPS, like one of those handhelds in my radio control vehicle, whether it be a car, boat, or airplane, that's what I was doing. Nowadays, we don't need to do that. We can use one of those very small radio controlled Sky RC modules that has a GPS on it. Not only is it very small and simple to get into our radio control vehicle, we can use our phones to talk with that unit so that we don't need to strip apart the radio control vehicle to check the speed. We can simply make a pass, return that vehicle to us, get that top speed and move on, continue from there. And another thing that has been coming a long way is the GPSs that can be installed directly into our radio control vehicle. This is going back to that smart sensors where we can capture speed that way as well. That sends the information directly to our transmitter so we can know in live time and we can actually get our, our transmitters to call this types of information out to us. Very cool stuff indeed. If you're anything like me, this item here in the number 10 spot being the GPS speed measuring modules. These things are super important to allow us to really see if we're hitting our target, hitting those goals and milestones that we are ever so trying to push and drive for. That completes my list. I want to see your list down in the comment section below. What do you think has come on in the last decade that has really advanced the technology here for radio control vehicles? And what do you think is coming or that we need here in the radio controlled hobby? As always, like the video if you do. Don't forget to hit that sub button so that I can see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one.